Okay, we have a revenue function, and we're told it's a linear function, and it has a slope of m. So what could you say about the marginal revenue function? Okay, we're going to take a slightly different viewpoint on this, uh, on the marginal. So we already know that a marginal means that there was one more unit. So you went from q units to q plus 1 units. So then your revenue at q units is 13q plus 4. But then at q plus 1 units, it'd be 13 times q plus 1 plus 4. So you'll want to take your revenue for one more unit, subtract the revenue that you had uh, previously. So I'll take 13 times q plus 1 plus 4, and then subtract quantity 13q plus 4. And simplify that, 13q plus 13 plus 4. Distribute, take away 13q, take away 4. The 13q's cancel, the 4's cancel, 13. Which, not coincidentally, is the slope. Because we know that the marginal is the slope. So our slope of 13 turns out to be our marginal value. Okay, now that's a really long explanation to come over here and say if you have a linear function and the slope is m, what will your marginal be? Your marginal revenue, no matter how many units, will always be the slope. And for a line, the slope will always be m.